So this question comes from Albert T. How do you stay fully anonymous online, Eli? How do I stay anonymous online? So that's a good question. Um, you don't. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, did I answer that question already? Yeah, you don't. Um, the whole idea of staying anonymous online um, is ridiculous and foolish and just idiotic. Like the thought that you would use any services on the internet and the web and be anonymous is a joke. It is laughable. It is beyond laughable. It is something that, that should be scoffed at. It just doesn't... It's the foolishness that, that people who watch movies and then think they're hackers come up with, right? Um, there, there is no real way to stay anonymous online. The reality is, is that you can always be tracked online. The only question is, is how many resources uh, does the person who wants to track you want to devote to trying to track you? So even if you, even if you, you know, do this whole hacker thing and you're, and you're, you're bouncing your packets through multiple uh, proxy servers and and VPNs and Tor network and all this kind of horse crap. One, your internet, your actual internet connection speed is going to go back, go down to like two kilobits per second. But two, even if you do that, even if you bounce your uh, your, your internet traffic through ten different proxy servers, let's just say it still works, um, you can still be tracked. The reality is, the reality is, is that when the internet was developed, when TCP IP4, the internet protocol, or the, 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 the networking protocol that we use for the internet was developed, they weren't worried about being anonymous. Uh, this was all supposed to be trusted computers on trusted networks communicating with each other and why would you want to be anonymous if it's trusted computers on trusted networks talking to other trusted computers on other trusted networks it just uh, being anonymous just did not come up um, or at least was not put into the plan when the whole internet and the world wide web as it's been developed now um, was was being created. Beyond that, uh, there's a lot of commercial interests and also government interests out there uh, to be able to track people when they go online. And so the issue is is basically what you have when you go on the uh, when you go on the internet. What you have to realize is one, the system was never effing built uh, for you to be anonymous, and two. Lots of lots of companies and lots of government organization with billions of dollars in budgets have no interest in you staying anonymous. So it's like you know, cracking your privacy online. It, it, yeah, yeah, you, you're just not anonymous online. Um, um, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't even know why people ask it. It's it's funny. Like like I know I come up as a smart ass and I'm like snarky when I say this, but I really want you guys to understand why. Is it's just it is laughable. The idea that you would have privacy or that things would be anonymous online is absolute. It, it is it is laughable. It is just like. <laughs> That's funny, right? Um, so no, you you can't be you can't be anonymous online. Even if you use VPN servers, you're not going to be necessarily anonymous. Even if you use proxy servers, you're not going to be anonymous. Uh, even the Tor network, you know, the FBI just took down a whole bunch of Tor sites and cracked down on Tor users because they were able to crack the Tor network. And that's that's what you. That's what you just have to realize is that there's just so many ways to screw with you when you go online that there's just, there's almost no way to be anonymous. I mean, about the only way to be anonymous uh, when you go online would be to steal somebody else's computer, take it to a random coffee shop, use the internet for maybe five minutes, take the computer, throw it in the trash, and walk away. And make sure you use gloves, your fingerprints on, aren't on it. And that might, maybe, maybe, probably not. Because, I mean, you guys don't even realize, like, it's so cool, all the stuff that is out there to track you. You guys don't even know this stuff. It's awesome. Have you guys even heard of, a, it's called e-biometrics. <laughs> It's so cool. E-biometrics, right? So when you think about biometrics, you think about things like uh, fingerprint scanners and eyeball scanners and face scanners and all that. Well, there's this other thing called e-biometrics that actually identifies you based upon how you use your computer. 
So when you do, when you do something like you go to a website and you plug in a search term, so you search for something on the internet, they can actually determine who you are by how long it takes you to type in KE. Like when you type in that search query, it will actually determine who you are based on how long you press down an individual key for. So when you press T, that you you press down on T for 0 0.03 milliseconds, and when you press down on E, you you press down and for 0 0.05 milliseconds, and when you type out a whole word, that takes a that takes 1.15 seconds or whatever like that. And they can take all of that information and basically assign that a number, and that number is now you. And now that they have a number, they can track other things, you know, geolocation and all that kind of stuff. It's awesome. <laughs> Privacy doesn't exist. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, I when, I when I talk to you guys about this stuff, it's not about ethics. It's not about morals. I'm not going into what's right or wrong. I am, I am all that kind of stuff. We're just, we're just taking that off the table. We're just talking about what is now. And let me tell you, the concept of privacy and anonymity online is, it is, it is utterly laughable. It is genuinely utterly laughable um so i would not worry about it if you want to be fully anonymous online uh, give up give it up there ain't there ain't no way because again like i say with like that e-biometric thing they can even track you so if you went to a library to log into the websites and do whatever you're doing they could track that um and then there's some really interesting stuff where you know you, you <laughs> you get enough people's patterns for how they do things and people in different areas of the world do things uh, very particularly even within particular neighborhoods so if you can figure out things like the e-biometrics and all behavior patterns and you know okay somebody at the library uh, has these particular behavior patterns and we know because we've done previous research that this particular neighborhood uh, the people in that, that neighborhood are likely to have the same behavior patterns. Even if you're going to a public library, they can still, in that way, track you back to where you've come from. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't know where people come up with it. Like the whole idea, I want to be anonymous online. I don't know. I want to take a ride on the back of a magic dragon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, um, it's a good dream. It's a good dream, but it doesn't exist. And again, again, all snark aside, all snark aside, there's no way to stay fully anonymous online. System functionally is not built for you to stay anonymous. And all the people with any kind of power don't want you to stay anonymous. So there you go. Having anonymity online is a fantasy.